Ralph Brock and Chris Garcia are joining us now to share all the details on the Wild West Brew Fest. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Hola, thanks for I mean, how are you? It's been a year since we talked about it last time, yes, and uh, this is one of the biggest brew fests around. How many different kinds of beers or vendors do you guys have? Oh, you're gonna have 600 different types of beers. 600? Six, yes. 600, a lot. That's a lot of beer. That's a lot of beer. And you have like a hundred and something different brewers. It's going to be like crazy. Unbelievable. How do you navigate something like that? Like if I'm going to go and I'm not, I'm kind of the novice mm -hmm. when it comes to beer drinking. So how do you navigate it? Well, we always have a couple of things. So, you know, we're going to have everything from ciders to stouts, everything in between. This year we're actually going to add uh, wine. Really? Yeah. So if you don't like to have beer all day, you can have wine. We're actually going to have some seltzers that may have some uh, ABV to them, so alcohol by volume. Oh, okay. And so, so that's uh, like a kicked up seltzer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma I like the options. Yes. You guys, you think of everything. We try. Um, okay. Well, let's get to it. You've got a, mm -hmm. a, a great display here, and I think we chatted about this last time you guys were on. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I like beer. It's not typically my go-to. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Because I think it's because of the world of the unknown. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I, I get the, the brand names, but I, when it comes to like this, I don't know what to do with it. Well, you know, there's a couple of things you want to, most people would probably like their uh, Bud Light and they like their Miller Light and those are Pilsners. Yeah. And then after that, you sort of start branching out and understanding what you like and don't like. Okay. So whether that would be a blonde, we're going to actually try a IPA and then we're going to try some stouts, but you can kind of move up the ladder of what you like over time. Okay. And so this is all an experimentation to figure out what you like and why you like it. Okay, well I'm up yes. for the experimentation. Who's yes. pouring? What do we I got am here? Pouring. Ralph's pouring. I am gonna start with my wife's favorite. Okay. Which is a hazy little thing. It is gonna be an IPA hazy, a New England style, quite tropical. Okay, I don't even know what you're talking about. IPA <laughs> hazy, I get tropical. Yes, I IPA uh, India Pale Ale. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's from India? Uh, what does that mean? Uh, no, not from India. But that would be really cool if it the Maharaja, be, right? if the we Maharaja, would, like, right? like, hey, we have to make this pale ale. That would be really cool. <laughs> that would yeah. Be amazing. <laughs> I just made it up in my head. No, it was is really that, cool. Is that like the type of? Brewery? It's the type of beer. Okay. Yeah. And so on this one, what you're gonna find? Cheers, man. Cheers. Yes. You're gonna find uh, it has a bit of haziness to the beer. Uh -huh. It has a bit of tropical flavor to it. Pineapple. I smell the fruit. Yes. Easy to drink. Yeah, I mm -hmm. like it. Good and cold, too. Yes. One thing Ralph good. always talks about is when you come to our event, yes. yep. April 26th and 27th, mm -hmm. um, you want to come in with an idea. So he mentioned IPAs. So come in and start with the IPAs and sample a couple different IPAs. And then there's stouts. You come in and try a couple different stouts. That way you don't kind of mix it up. You kind of you can go to one different style. So it really is a tasting event. Absolutely. Tasting event. To Absolutely. really figure out like what is out there. Right. right. Okay. Yes. This is so cool, too. I mean, I know that you have other stuff, so if you want to start opening it, that's fine. I'm not going to stop you from that. Um, but all of this is run by volunteers? Correct. Yes. So the Rotary Club of Katy, uh, we are a civic organization out in Katy, Texas. We've got 80 people in our club. This is our big fundraiser annually. We raise about uh, 700000 over the last seven years, and we give it all away. A lot of it does stay in the greater Katy, West Houston area, but it's all given back. Congratulations. Yes, I mean, 100% yes. of the proceeds given back into the community. That is really incredible. How many years have you guys been doing this Brewfest? This will be year eight. Eight? eight. This will be yep. eighth year. And you're getting bigger and better every year. Every Absolutely. year. We have a great event this year. We have an after party featuring uh, Bart Crow, a Texas country artist out of Austin. So he's coming. And that'll be at 9 o'clock on Saturday, April 27th. Uh, you can buy your tickets on wildwestbrewfest.com. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, you definitely have to get your tickets now. Plan for it. Get the sitters. Figure out your ride sharing over at Katie Mills Mall. All kinds of really fun stuff. What's That's the fun. other thing you got over there? You well, got another one? We have another one. And this one is an, also an IPA, but from a different company. Okay. And so what I want you to do is to taste the difference, just like... There's uh, Bud Light, there's Miller Light, yeah. there's uh, different types of denim, different types of shirts, there's different types of the same type of beer. Okay. And so this one's going to look very similar, but taste totally different. Totally different. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one's not quite as golden, I guess. Kind of lighter. It's a little bit lighter. Okay. And this is Parrish, and Parrish is out of Louisiana. Oh. The one you had before was Sierra Nevada, and they are out of California. Mmm. This one mm -hmm. I like better. Yes. Brand new to the market. They're just here in Texas this year. So uh, this one is Ghost in the Machine. Ooh, really I like this one. It's only been here one. for a few weeks. And yes. it, all, it, it has that fruity flavor to it. Totally. 
I yeah. love it. How big were you guys that first year? Did you think you'd make it to 600 different beers? <laughs> first, year? first year, we were in, uh, in Katy, in the yeah. Bellagio Town Center. Our first year was about 1,500 people. And total. Total. Our, our chairman, uh, David Lesh, who is off camera, uh, had gone to the Breckenridge Brewfest. And it's like, hey, we can really do this in Katy. Right? And so first year, 1,500, we probably had, you know, eight to 12,000 square feet. And now we're in 100 and some thousand square feet right. with 600 different beers. It's a blessing. Fantastic. And now between yeah. Friday and Saturday, uh, we're over 10,000 people between those two days. Yep. That is awesome. Again, launch party April 26th. The festival's April 27th. Yes, ma'am. At Katie Mills Mall and wildbrewfest.com is where you can find the tickets and more information. Guys, thanks so much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate it. Great Cheers. to see you both again. Always. And David's off camera. Thank you again.